from a wet Airdrie, I'm outside the Excelsior Stadium, it's the Lowland League, Celtic B versus Civil Service Stores. There's the kickoff there, so it's the kickoff. Ball there. Oh, oh, hit the bar. Oh. That's a really early chance here for the Stollers. Oh, side. Oh, good ball. Oh, the wing, can he keep it in? No, it's out. Chance here. Oh, that was a far away. So, a free kick to Celtic here. Oh, there's a ball in there, the goal. Oh, there's a ball there. See that coming there, you know what Celtic. Oh one, but there's really not to there. Oh, a long range effort there, but well. Off. It's a dangerous ball over, out for a corner. And these quick wins. Oh, finally. Ah, he's going to, he's going to book him, yeah. Yeah. 
Lazio. Oh, good shot, good save though. A shot there, not wide. Oh, oh, they just cross in. They kind of clear the lines. Get the ball away. Before you can certainly hear it now. Time and it's been out to Celtic B. You know, we'll have time there at Celtic B. They're really impressive, passing the ball very well. Uh, they thoroughly deserve their half time lead. Uh, we still have a well, start, hit the bar, and uh, just uh, a wee shot over in the rebound. And if they got that early start, it would have been a, maybe a different game. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Hopefully, it'll be a game of two halves. So how have you enjoyed the game? I enjoyed the game, but it's a disappointing result so far. For the strollers, I thought I was the only strollers fan here. No. <laughs> my sister's boyfriend plays for the strollers. Is that right? Who, who's that then? Um, McQuaid. Liam McQuaid. Alright. Well, hopefully we've got a game of two halves. Yeah. As I say, yeah? Hopefully we catch up a bit. Yeah, right, good stuff.
Uh, tough first half, a um, bit of a lesson on that pitch. Um, the home games are more a leveller tonight, so you've got more um, chasing hard. Um, but first goal and the third goal, put to give away. Um, yeah. Second half could be a long one for them, but at the same time, I'd like to see maybe a bit braver in, in terms of taking a touch and, and try to build yeah. something. But we'll see how it goes. Do the, the number of boys out injured as well. Aye. I think I should just kick it off, we'll go back in. Uh, what is it, West of Scotland Strollers Fan Club? West of Scotland, aye, uh, the Lanarkshire Strollers Fan Club for season 23-24. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright. Aye, right, thanks. Take care. That's the second half started, uh, just missed the kick off. I was too busy talking to people in the concourse there. Oh, there's another goal. What's the first attack? Well, it's certainly not the start of the Strollers wanting in the second half there. First attack by Celtic, goal. The chance here, no, no, can you control it? There we go. Ah, no. Just gone to the half. That rain getting worse. Oh, he didn't want to tackle him there, the pair's a goal. Get that there. 
Maybe for the corner, another corner. Probably not. Doesn't work. I just saw him running a couple of subs. Side up. Oh, a good shot and save there. Chance here, oh. Oh no, very well taken. Oh, no, there's a chance, so oh. that was close. Oh, bring on, bring on four subs. That'll be five there, all together. Chip at the back there, nearly. Oh, 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 I'll see if they go away. Oh, chance here and a goal. That's uh, seven now. Oh, even, even, even he's fed up. <laughs> there we go. There's Full time there, and certainly a good result for Celtic. Well, I'm done it, Gary. Oh, look, I think that it's the, the last team you want to play um, in the fourth game in 10 days would be Celtic away yeah. midweek, which again, you know, without. I want to make excuses. It's, it's a shambles that, that, that we have to go and play a full-time team 
midweek. Yeah. I can understand and accept it. The number of teams in the league that you play midweek games. But teams at the level are always going to show you need everything to go for you to have a chance midweek against teams that are full time. And um, what transpired was um, we were well beaten tonight. night. Yeah. Um, but what I would say is, you know, we've won games this season, but tonight I can be prouder of my players. I think that it sounds daft after you meet someone all, but even right at the end there, we've got players trying to slide in and stop crosses yeah. and, and the, 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 the boards. So, listen, it's not often you hear it get beat by a scoreline like that, that the, the manager's proud of the players. Obviously, we didn't play great, but no. I thought the players never down tools. They worked their socks off for each other. You know, seven injuries tonight, and yeah. we had four full-backs across the back four, and then about no civil service rules. We, we don't play a back four, but that's how hamstrung we were tonight. So I'm really proud of the players. We, we put to one side. Um, I don't think we've been any favours having this fixture midweek. It should have been Saturday, mm. um, as it was scheduled. But that, that's life. That's never going to change. You know, I think that I've moaned before about the, the fixture schedule, but that's it. The yeah. Celtic were fantastic, and hats off to them. We've some really good, talented young players there. That early goal and that sort of knocked it. A really well. good chance in the first minute. Chris has gone through one v one and he smashed it off the bar. He's yeah. going it too well. And the rebound um, uh, was aye. Yeah, and I think we had a couple of opportunities in the first half, yeah. but you know they were really clinical. Yes. Um, and he moved the ball really well. But as I say, I think we had players. You know, seven of those players had played the the, the, the four games, and you could, you could tell tonight. You know, it's. Um, it was, it was telling where, where our energy level was compared to theirs, you know, Absolutely. some of the guys that, that were up half six for their shift. So, you know, I could go on and on, and I don't ah, want to make no, excuses, no. but no, no. there's real reasons there. Yeah. Um, we, we take it on the chin and we move on. I think the, the players are going to their confidence. We've got now seven games between them and the end of the season, and it's up yeah. to us to get as many points and, and finish as high up the table as we can. Right. So how do you lift the guys after that? I mean, you were saying how proud you were, but how do you lift the guys? They don't, they don't need it. it. They don't, no, honestly, no. They, they don't need it. They, no. they, 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 they take it for what it is. You yeah. know, I think that we could have got a moral victory by a point tonight. Aye, a point aye. that um, Mr. Gillis went to Celtic and yeah. everybody's partner selling back with two draws against a, a full time side. Well, then we beat them at home. And, you know, I think that we, we've been well beat tonight. So I think we, we should be proud of their efforts. Okay, thanks very much, Gary. Well, I think Gary's got a point there. Uh, I cover Hearts B quite a lot. I do play on a Friday night. At Ainsley Park, and I've seen them play in the uh, was it Berwick and Gretna. And you know, if you work in Berwick or Gretna, anywhere about there, if you work on a Friday, you, you're having to travel a couple of hours up to, to play hard to be on a Friday night. I mean, you are at a disadvantage, and I can see where Gary was coming from, but I don't want to get away from Celtic B, they were superb, but, but that was uh, not the, the strollers team that I've uh, watched uh, previously. I was, and I wasn't the only Strollers fan there. It was good meeting the family, basically, and friends of uh, Liam McQuaid, who um, come along and support him. Right enough, I've seen Jerry, uh, I think that's his dad, at the home games. Uh, so they support Strollers, but they're really Celtic fans. So I think I was still the only Strollers fan there. wonder why I didn't get in from Celtic. You know, I did try, I did ask, I didn't realise uh, Stephen McMahon doesn't even speak to Celtic TV. And I was trying to get uh, Stephen. By the time I asked the set of media guys, I was too late. Most people were away. So I did try, but because uh, I wanted to get somebody from Celtic. So it was just to let you know, in case you thought, why don't I get anybody from Celtic? Well, that was the reason I tried, but I didn't get it. Anyway, folks, as I say, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, I'm going to the stadiums. I'll see you behind the goals.